Hi there, this is Morgan from Morgan Burks Photography and today I'm going to show you how to apply a sky overlay to your photo. This is the photo I'm going to be using and this is the sky that I'm going to be applying. Um, it's number 8 from the MB Sky Overlays collection. So the first thing I'm going to do is grab my move tool and all I did to open this photo was just open it like a regular photo, file open, and then found the sky I wanted to use and now I'm just going to grab my move tool right here and click the photo and hold down your mouse key and just drop it onto the photo you want to edit. And so from here I'm going to move this to where I want it. I just like to pull it a little bit below that horizon line just so that you have some blending room. Um, and I think that looks good. You can also go to edit, free transform, and size this how you want it. If you wanted it a little bit, bit more squished, you could do that. Um, I ca actually kind of like it like that. So I'm going to hit the check mark to accept. And then I'm going to turn the visibility off on this layer and select your background layer. And then from there, come over here and grab your magic wand tool. And you're with this tool, you're just going to click the area you want to apply this guy to. And then you can hold down your shift key and you can um, grab this little, these little spots in between them as well. And then all you do once your selection has been made is click your sky layer, turn the visibility back on, and then hit this layer mask button. There you go. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to leave it at 100% opacity for now. You can turn this guy down in a little bit if you'd like. Um, I'm going to zoom in here and just play with these edges a little bit. So with my brush um, at 0% hardness and my opacity at 100 for now, I'm just going to, oops, wrong, sorry, wrong color, um, with your white brush selected, I'm just going to fill this in a little bit. And I keep it at 100 so that you know that you're fully getting rid of that like jagged line. Um, you can lower your opacity and just make several swipes if you'd like to. Uh, it's up to you and your preference. And I'm going to zoom out here and see what we're doing. Let's turn it down a little bit just so we can kind of see the background and what we're working with. That way it kind of shows through that bush there. Okay, now let's zoom in. And now you can see you left a little bit of white here so we can fill that in. And um, right now we're just kind of doing this roughly. We can go back over and tweak a little bit later. That's the good thing about using a layer mask. You can always just flip your color to black and undo this painting that you're doing here. Um, zoom in as close as you can so that you know you're getting rid of that line. And just keep sweeping over the edges. And then once you get to skin or subject, you're going to have to zoom in a little bit closer and just get um, so you can have a better view of what you're doing. I make my brush a little bit smaller and kind of fit here next to his skin. And obviously this selection we've got going on here is pretty sharp on his skin. So you can always flip to black and kind of let the edge undo it a little bit. And don't worry about the white that we're showing through. We're going to fix it. Okay. And then flip your color back to white and just fill in that, that white area here. And you can lower your opacity for this if you'd like. Do like 60 or so. And again, this doesn't have to be exact. You can always tweak this a little bit later. Um, for time's sake, I'm just going to run through it quickly. Um, here, I believe there was a highlight on his shirt. So when we selected the white sky, it also selected this highlight. So just flip your color to black and remove that sky from his clothes here. And you can put your brush at 100 or um, you know, whatever opacity lets you feel like you're getting the best blending and flip back to white and fix this here. And for edges like this, you can make your brush a bit harder just so you don't have such a soft edge. You can sweep through here and just give it more of a strong line. And then here, we've got some crazy coloring going on, but let's just fill this in a little bit here. And I'm going to leave my brush at, um, at the like 43% hardness I moved it to just so that we can kind of get this sharp line here. When you're blending the horizon against the grass, you definitely want it to be soft, but here for these strong lines like against their skin, you can always keep your brush a little bit harder. 
so here for his hat we're gonna do the same thing and I'm taking some of his hat off this is like a rough selection here but you can always flip your color to black like I said and just get that off there wherever you made a mistake um, and that's what I love about layer masks if you erased this you know and later on you went in here to sharpen or something um, you wouldn't be able to get that back but when you use a layer mask all you have to do is just change your color and flip it back and so here there's a little logo on his hat and the same thing happened with, as the shoulder it just got the sky in here so just removed that a little bit um, then you can flip your color back to white and just kind of run along the edge here and same thing here between their faces you can paint that in as well um, you can do this you know pretty roughly and then just kind of trace around the edges and get it off their skin wherever it touches um, you kind of want to get in her hair a little bit and then here between their chins as well and here this blue line we've got some chromatic aberration going on but you can always um, change that with a color layer later okay so I'm going to paint with black to remove it from her shirt the same thing happened um, you just kinda wanna zoom in a little bit make sure you get in everything um, perfect that way if you sharpen later or you know your client wants to make a big print you know they're not going to make it big and find a bunch of mistakes and so here on her hair there were some highlights as well so I'm just going to sweep over a little bit and get rid of that white showing through and then go back over it again and remove anything that I need to so here and plus when you um, when you lower the opacity of your sky you can kind of see her hair through there so it's not a big deal if you go over it too much but up here on her scalp you can see there's some like strong areas where the sky was coming in so just kind of sweep that out a little bit and you don't want to do too much because you're getting the white from the sky again but like I said that layer mask will help you just fix that up and we'll grab black and just take it off her hair here and off of his eyebrow a little bit okay oops okay so then I'm going to zoom out and then come down here and just make sure you've got all this blending right. Um, for time's sake I'm going to leave these selections how they are but you could always go over these with your brush and just make sure that you've got them right. Um, I'm going to lower the hardness here again, make it softer and just paint this in. And again with the highlight on her jeans, just kind of watch. Um, my photo is exceptionally bright so you might not have to do so much but just zoom in and you'll be able to see the changes you need to make and so lower that a little bit okay and then same thing I'm gonna go a little bit quicker here just so we don't run out of time um, grab your white brush and just start painting that line I'm gonna do it at a hundred percent opacity just so I know that I get it the first time I sweep over it and then get smaller kind of go here next to her clothes Okay, and obviously these edges are rough. You'd want to smooth those out. Um, just going to sweep over the edge here. Okay. And then you also kind of want to give a good sweep around the edges. Just make sure no white is showing. Sometimes when you use a layer mask, your, um, your sky might not reach all the way up to top or something. So just make sure that you maybe grab a big brush and just sweep around the edges. Make sure it fills in everywhere. Um, I think it looks pretty good on this one but sometimes you'll get a little white edge around the the corners here that's like barely noticeable but when you sharpen it looks pretty bad so okay so we've done blending for the most part now here what you can do if you notice this is a really strong line so you can blend it a little bit you can get um, grab your black brush make it pretty big and put it at 10 percent opacity or less we're just going to do something really subtle here um, and just sweep over this edge and you can use just the very edge of that circle there to sweep um, and just kind of get that color off you can make your brush as big as you'd like uh, here and just kind of sweep with this and this is going to lighten um, the horizon line but if you notice in photos where your sky does show up most of the time the sky is darkest at the top and then around the horizon it's a little bit lighter so you can always uh, do that here as well and you can if you notice it's not doing too much you can up your opacity a little bit I'll do 20% just to show you here um, just kind of sweep over this and with your big brush the blending is going to be really soft 
So just sweep over that and then you can see how it looks. Um, my computer's going slow so we have to wait for it to load. Okay, just really subtle. There you go, you can see it lightening a little bit. There you go. I think that looks pretty good. Okay, so from there, you can always lower the opacity of your sky um, to something that looks pretty natural. In this case, I know that I want to apply some changes and some brightening, so I'm going to leave my sky a little bit darker than I normally would. And that way, um, when you apply your actions or your color changes uh, or brighten the photo, it's not going to blow that sky out again. So I think that looks pretty good, and the blending is smooth. Again, around your subjects, you're going to want to um, zoom in pretty close and just make sure that you got everything. Um, but in this case, I think it looks pretty good. So now you could apply your sharpening um, or your your color changes or anything like that. Just watch those lines if you sharpen and make sure, you know, if you notice that it's sharpening a line that's um, that doesn't look too natural, you can either remove the sharpening from that area or come back to your layer mask and just kind of fill it in softly. So that's all for today. Thank you for watching. Bye.